Just like humans, some animals just simply do not get along with each other. In fact, there are many that can't even bear the sight of the other. Not only do they fight, but occasionally it's a battle that one doesn't walk or swim away from. From the big cats that have gone toe to toe with crocs, to the deep sea battle between a dolphin and a shark, here are 15 animals that hate each other. Number 15. Leopards versus Crocodiles Traditionally, leopards aren't known for messing with crocodiles, and it's easy to see why. The croc is one main customer. These large, semi-aquatic reptiles live throughout the tropics of Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia, and have a reputation for being vicious. They use their strong jaws to snatch unsuspecting prey, dragging them down to the watery depths of what will essentially be their graves. So anyone that takes them on, human or animal, is either extremely brave or just plain stupid. Compared to other wild cats, the leopard has relatively short legs. However, it can still run at speeds of up to 58 kilometers an hour. It has a broad diet and is an opportunistic hunter, not unlike the crocodile. Although it doesn't have as many teeth as the croc, the ones it does have are lethal. It's also a very muscular animal, and in some areas, it's so large it sits at the top of the food chain. In fact, some leopards in North Africa were said to be similar in size to the Barbary lion, measuring up to 9 feet in length from nose to tail. But taking on a croc takes more than size. It takes guts. Do leopards have what it takes to bring down one of the world's most successful predators? Yes, they do. Apparently, all it takes is a quick bite to the croc's brain and it's all over. It doesn't always work though, and an angry crocodile is not something anyone wants to deal with. That's for sure. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Shark versus Dolphin. When it comes to sharks and dolphins, most of us have our team of choice. Both are incredible species that roam our oceans, preying on other fish. The shark, however, is further up the food chain. It actually preys on dolphins, particularly very young calves and adults weakened by illness. You could say that the shark is a bit of an opportunist. It's a lazy hunter and prefers a vulnerable catch, one that isn't gonna take half a day of hunting to secure. To be honest, it's hard to argue with the logic. In some parts of the world, such as Sarasota and Florida, sharks are major predators of dolphins, with many found with scars from their razor-sharp bite. But what dolphins lack in teeth, they more than make up for in friends. Unlike the socially awkward shark, dolphins have a lot of friends, and as the old saying goes, there's safety in numbers. This is a huge advantage, as they stick together in pods, helping to defend one another from shark attacks. They do this by chasing and ramming them, using their strong snouts as a powerful weapon. The soft underbelly and gills of the shark are the prime target for the enraged dolphin, and the shark often slinks away in disgust, uninterested in fighting for a meal. Dolphins can also swim a lot faster than most shark species, so catching a healthy one on its own can be difficult. Good news for the dolphin, not so much for the hungry shark. Number 13. Elephant versus Rhinoceros When standing side by side, it's easy to see that the elephant is much bigger than the rhino. It's also a lot heavier, weighing approximately 6 ton. On average, elephants measure about 3.2 meters tall, whereas the average height of a male white rhino is just 1.8 meters. They also weigh just 2,300 kilograms in comparison. But we've all heard the tale of David and Goliath, and the rhino in this clip seems pretty intent on proving a point. Although both animals can attack with brute force, have incredible stamina, and equal intelligence, there can only be one clear winner on the day. 
<laughs> These two don't typically fight each other, but when they do, all their heavy artillery is brought out. The elephant uses his tusks and generous stature to fend off his smaller, stockier opponent. But the rhino has some tricks of his own. Not only can he run up to 50 kilometers an hour, he is very agile and has an incredibly sharp horn to strike the elephant with. Made from solid keratins, the rhino's horn takes no prisoners, and the elephant would struggle to recover from a direct hit to its underbelly. Both highly competitive animals, they have a history of being aggressive to one another. Elephants are also known to have killed rhinos in the past, so the little guy in this clip might be best to back down before things get ugly, don't you think? Number 12. Bear vs. Wolf The grizzly bear and the gray wolf are two arch rivals. They fight for both food and survival, particularly in the cooler months. Of the two most formidable predators in the world, there can only be one winner, and this clip filmed at Yellowstone Park shows the interaction between them. The gray wolf made a return to Yellowstone in 1995 as part of its wolf reintroduction program. Both the wolf and the bear are optimal predatory machines. They are driven by the most basic of primal instincts, to hunt and breed. <laughs> However, they have remarkably different strategies. Each does whatever it takes to make it through the harsh winter of the northern wilderness. Fortunately for the bears, the wolves are a tasty meal, and yet another animal they can add to the menu. They are often drawn to their dens by the aroma of existing leg bones and other food items the alpha wolves have fed their young. Although the wolves are quicker and outnumber them, the bears are stronger and more often than not come out the victor. Number 11. Polar Bear vs. Walrus it might come as a bit of a surprise that an adult male walrus can weigh more than 2,000 kilograms. Making a mature male polar bear practically a featherweight in comparison. They weigh about 700 kilograms, but are considered one of the largest land carnivores on Earth. The walrus, on the other hand, is the largest seal in the Arctic, but they are not considered top predators. This is because they primarily eat mollusks from the seabed. When push comes to shove, however, they won't back down from a fight, and will do almost anything to protect their young, elderly, and weak members. In this clip, a large, hungry polar bear got more than he bargained for when trying to score an easy meal. The footage is filmed on a remote Arctic island that is shrouded in fog. This fog provides the perfect cover for the clever bear, but that's where his luck ends. The herd is gathered together at the water's edge, and they sense him approaching and close ranks around the vulnerable, creating a wall of blubber and hide. After several attempts to break the barrier, the hungry bear has to give up. But you can guarantee these walruses won't be safe from his jaws forever. Number 10. Hippo vs. Crocodile Often described as the world's most fearsome and efficient predators, the crocodile will leave nothing to chance when it comes to a meal. They will happily tidy up another animal's kill and are always on the lookout for their next victim. But in this clip, things took an unusual turn when a group of about 30 crocodiles was on the other end of a surprise attack. Whilst trying to retrieve the remains of a dead hippo from the middle of a river, they got into a bit of an argument with the late animal's companions. They appeared none too pleased about its impending consumption and made their feelings quite clear. Although crocodiles are known to have the most powerful bite force on the planet, the body mass of a dominant male hippo is about the same as two football teams combined. These guys are not to be messed with. They are also surprisingly fast and can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. This allows them to beat a hasty retreat from predators if required. 
Under normal circumstances, however, these two African gladiators coexist peacefully, each giving the other a wide berth. One is a heavy herbivore, the other is the most successful freshwater predator on the planet. But are they cozy bedfellows or arch enemies? Life between the two is relatively peaceful by all accounts. Except for an annual battle for survival. This is when the dry season pushes both into survival mode, and the rivalry for water and food heats up. Number 9. Snakes vs. Mongoose At first glance, the mongoose might not appear to be a worthy opponent for a snake, particularly a cobra. But things, as we know, aren't always what they seem. Due to their agility, thick coats, and a glycoprotein they produce, the mongoose is adept at killing snakes. Not only that, but their venom has no effect on them whatsoever. How handy is that? This lucky fella can fight a king cobra and eat it for dinner, no questions asked. There are 29 species of mongoose, and not all are created equal. Only some can attack, kill, and eat venomous snakes. But they all have the same features. The mongoose looks a lot like a weasel, with its long body and short ears. But that's where the similarities end. Weasels are part of the dog family, whereas mongoose are firmly on Team Cat. That might explain why they're so feisty. They are carnivores and live in colonies, with most residing in Africa. One species, the Javan, has been introduced to Europe and has wreaked havoc on its ecosystem. They may be small, but mongooses are what scientists refer to as non-discriminatory predators. This means that if they can catch or kill it, they will eat it. With a habit like this, they can do a lot of damage, and in record quick time. Number 8. Lions vs. Hyenas It takes just one adult male lion to keep a rowdy group of spotted hyenas from sneaking in and stealing his family's dinner. This footage was taken in Kruger National Park, where the pride of lions has killed a young Cape buffalo. Unfortunately, a large group of hyenas are keen on a piece of the action, and despite the intimidating stance and occasional roar from the lions, they refuse to back down. They're actually quite vocal, with their unique squeal drawing the herd of buffalo back to defend their territory. Things become quite heated. The buffalo scatter, but the hyenas won't budge, until a large male arrives on the scene to break things up. Although the lions were responsible for this kill, spotted hyenas are actually very skilled and methodical hunters. They utilize all of their senses when hunting, most notably sight, hearing, and smell. And while they don't have a preference for certain prey, the most common are wildebeest and zebra. Buffalo and giraffes are actively avoided for obvious reasons, and this video is a fine example of that. The hyena would prefer to leave the killing to someone else and try to slip off with the spoils. Number 7. Cats vs. Birds Right across the globe, domestic and wild cats are recognized as a massive threat to biodiversity. By themselves, cats alone have contributed to the extinction of 63 species of birds, mammals, and reptiles in the wild. But if this isn't bad enough, they continue to adversely impact a wide variety of other species, including those at risk of extinction like the piping plover. Because owning a cat in most parts of the world is the right of every household, the issue is next to impossible to deal with. In fact, the situation is so bad that the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, has listed the domestic Magi as one of the world's worst non-native invasive species. For some, that might seem hard to believe. But for those who pick up the remains of birds on a daily basis, these facts are hard to ignore. In the United States alone, outdoor cats kill approximately 2.4 billion birds every year. So it's mind-boggling to imagine the number worldwide. Unfortunately, even well-fed cats will hunt and kill, often simply for entertainment value or to replicate play. Experts say it's a complex issue, and it's easy to see why. I mean, how do you stop a cat from killing birds? Most don't appreciate being stuck inside, and many refuse to wear a bell. And could you imagine the public outcry from cat lovers if they were banned? 
it doesn't bear thinking about. Number 6. Dogs vs. Cats the mutual hatred between cats and dogs is probably the most obvious of all. But to be honest, it's a bit of a weird one, too. I mean, if you have a cat and a dog as pets, they often love each other. Perhaps they don't know the difference. Who knows? <laughs> but if a strange cat dares to walk past the property, all hell breaks loose. The barking is unbelievable, and they're seriously keen to get outside and give the uninvited visitor a piece of their mind. Once the drama is over, they curl back up with their best mate. And you guessed it, it's the cat. This frosty relationship between cat and dog isn't something new. Because they're different species, it's in their nature to dislike each other. In the wild, dogs see cats as prey, and cats see dogs as a threat. But funnily enough, when domestic cats and dogs meet up, it's usually the dog that ends up crying for help. Cats' claws are lethal, and they're not afraid to show their yappy sidekick or arch rival who's boss. Number 5. Rabbits vs. Guinea It surprises me that these two little characters would be enemies, but apparently it's true. To us, they're just a cute little domestic pet that lives in a cage at the bottom of the garden, or a terrible pest that wreaks havoc on our gardens and farmland. But although they look superficially similar, their behavior is very different. In general, rabbits are much bigger and stronger than guinea pigs. Guinea pigs live for around 5 to 8 years, while rabbits live for around 10 to 12 years. And this gives them the upper hand when it comes to a scrap over territory or food. Rabbits might look adorable on the outside, but on the inside, they can be fierce. They can cause severe injury to a poor guinea pig, even if they're just playing. Their legs are strong, and one thump can cripple or even kill its smaller opponent. Can you imagine what it would be like to live in the same house as a bad-tempered gorilla? Well, that's how a guinea pig feels when living with a rabbit. Rabbits also enjoy close company, so effectively are a guinea pig's worst nightmare. Number 4. Ferrets versus Other Animals Aggression among animals is not uncommon. But for pet owners, it can be stressful. The domestic ferret is particularly problematic, more so when paired with another ferret. A popular but controversial pet, they're usually tame, playful, curious, and quite docile. But things can turn nasty very quickly. Although fights between long-standing cage mates are rare, newly introduced ferrets can upset the dynamic. Research has shown that in almost 60% of these cases, the new ferret was keen to show who was boss. They engaged in full-on cage fights that included shaking, dragging, screaming, fleeing, urinating, or defecating. The unfamiliar surroundings are believed to be the main reason behind these unprovoked fits of rage that are often out of character. Unfortunately, without human intervention, they can result in serious injury or death. So it pays to be extra careful when introducing new housemates. An impulse purchase can make life miserable for both you and your original ferret, particularly if it's an intact male and you already have an intact male. These pairings have a heightened chance of getting into a fist fight and should be avoided where possible. On the plus side, ferrets are normally social and affectionate and enjoy having a cage companion of their own species. If a pairing works out, they can live in harmony for up to 10 years. Number 3. Fox vs. Hedgehog Hedgehogs might be small, but they're well protected. Their spines are covered in tiny spikes, and these are used as a defense mechanism when the hedgehog is threatened by a predator. They simply roll into a ball and are generally left alone. This can create some confusion for the predator, as this clip shows. Filmed at night using infrared lighting and three cameras, we see a hedgehog going about his nightly routine, completely unaware that danger is lurking. A fox is waiting in the shadows, preparing to pounce. An omnivorous mammal, the fox survives on both plant and animal matter. And tonight, he has his sights set on a hedgehog. 
Although they have been known to sometimes kill and eat hedgehogs, it's not an easy task because of the strength of their spines. The fox has to be pretty desperate to even persevere and will often just walk away in disgust. Smaller, younger, or sick and wounded hedgehogs are an easier target and are often no match for these sneaky predators. In this footage, the fox waits patiently for the hedgehog to let his guard down before making his play. Unfortunately, the hedgehog is too quick for him, and all that's left is a ball of spikes. The fox looks confused, wondering what happened to the animal that was standing there just moments ago. The poor wee hedgehog is probably trembling in his boots, but his body armor has done its job, and he'll live to see another day. Number 2. Leopard versus Baboon When their territory or one of their own is threatened, leopards and baboons give as good as they get. Both will form mobs against their enemies, circling them in a complex game of threat and fear. Leopards are well known for being expert primate hunters, and the baboon features highly on their chosen menu. But the hunt isn't an easy one. Baboons are very strong and highly social. They are very rarely left on their own, so leopards, who are solitary hunters, must balance the risk of getting injured or even killed in their quest for a tasty meal. Terrestrial animals, baboons sleep in trees or on high cliffs or rocks in the open savannas and woodlands across Africa. They do this to stay safe from predators. But even so, they have a host of exceptional weaponry, including heavy, powerful jaws with sharp canine teeth. The leopard, along with Nile crocodiles, lions, and hyenas, is one of the baboon's principal predators. They have relatively short legs and a long body, but can run at speeds of up to 58 kilometers per hour. Leopards are also very strong and comfortable in trees. Following a kill, they can drag the body of a large animal aloft to keep it away from scavengers. Number 1. Archerfish versus Bug this little-known fish can be found in a variety of waterways, inhabiting freshwater rivers, streams, and pools and brackish habitats such as estuaries and mangroves. It is common in India, Sri Lanka, and Southeast Asia, through to northern Australia and Melanesia. As their name suggests, the archerfish is a bit of a marksman. They are remarkably accurate in their shooting, almost always hitting their target on the first try. The shooting doesn't involve an arrow, however, but water droplets from their specialized mouths. They use this method to prey on land-based bugs and other small animals, often leaping out of the water to grab them if they're within reach. The archerfish prefers live prey and can capture a meal up to 3 meters above the water's surface. Now that's impressive. Typically measuring up to 18 centimeters long, these fish might be small, but they are exceptionally versatile when it comes to mealtime. When it comes to battles in the animal kingdom, some are fairly obvious. Cats and dogs are well known for having a love-hate relationship, and so too are sharks and dolphins. But did you know that rabbits and guinea pigs aren't exactly on friendly teams either? I didn't. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!